Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Bioshock. Last time we created an EMP bomb. Yay! Anyway, today we're about to, you know, do some more shit in Hephaestus and hopefully we'll get to Andrew Ryan soon. This place, it is big. It is long. There's much to do. So many lead head spicers. Splicers. Why? Why do you all take like so much ridiculous damage to kill thought okay you know what there's a spider splicer in here somewhere so I want to use these anti personnels on the lead head where okay anti personnel seems to kill them the quickest holy crap freaking lead heads all right, yeah, let's just keep these equipped for now. So we just need to go to the geothermal something or other so we can lay this EMP bomb and override Andrew Ryan's security. I'm gonna leave that splicer alone because my turret, if it's still alive, will murder it. All right. Where to? Where, where, where is the map going to take me? Yep, yeah, right there where I saw turrets and I chickened out. Okay. All right. All's well. There's scotch right there. You hurry up. Okay. You can never be too careful just in case the splicer wants to, you know, sneak up behind you and hit you. All right, geothermal control. I paid attention to nothing you were saying. Sorry, Atlas. Alrighty. There's a you invent. What can I invent? Same old, same old, and some anti personnel bullets. Fine. Those. Oh, those are anti personnel bullets for my pistol. I should be using them then. And yet, I probably won't. All right, so I am. Um, you uh, why not frag? I'm gonna frag these damn turrets. There we go. There's another one over there. I got some for you. Frag grenade with your name on it. Frag out, and once more. All right, go ahead and refill. Machine gun ammo, core access offline. Interesting stuff. I'm no engineer, but if I read these plans right, you can channel that magma flow using the redirect valve. It'll boil off that water right quick, and you'll be able to reach the core. But Ryan's sure to take notice. Might want to set up a perimeter just to be certain. All right, so um, let me go ahead and do what he said. I assume this is what he means by set up a perimeter. You know, just make sure we won't. Oh yes, more proximity mines. Thank you. I need all of them. Hmm. Gonna put one over there. One over there. Will these creatures kill you? Even I don't. As you drag me closer to the abyss, you pull yourself right along with me. I offer you a quick death, perhaps. It would be preferable to what you will learn if you win. Alright, looks like my uh, proximity mines are doing the trick. Somewhat. Whatever, I'm just gonna focus on this. Did, did you just teleport right behind me, yo? Is there blood on the streets? Of course. Have some chosen to destroy themselves with careless splicing on the mile. But I will make no proclamations. I will dictate no laws. Great chain moves slowly, but with wisdom. Are they 
all dead? Hope so. Best be heading on to the core. See, I just want to know where this elevator is going to take me. Oh, this takes me to the core. Then, okay. That was rather uh, easy and simplistic. I remember that being a bit of a hassle. Oh well, whatever. And get up there, Jack. Onward to the core. The fastest core. So far away from your family, from your friends, from everything you ever loved. But for some reason, you like it here. You feel something. You can't quite put your finger on. Think about it for a second, and maybe the word will come to you. Nostalgia. <laughs> Well, I mean, yeah, I did play this game, you know, for a while back in 09 and stuff. So, yeah, I do have a little nostalgia for it, Andrew Ryan. And, ooh, shorten alarms, too. Our frequent security alarms driving you deaf? Reduce the pain with new and improved shorten alarms, too. Mm, I'll just store it for now. I hope I won't need it in here. This place just looks freaking beautiful. You know, it's magma. I guess magma can be beautiful. All right, core lift. What did Atlas offer you? A piece of my plundered city? Mark my words, your only reward will be a knife in the back. I trust Atlas. Let's go ahead and place the EMP bomb. Now, I'm not a, you know, big scientific person. As I was saying, oh crap. But yeah, as I was saying, like, I'm not a big scientific person. But, um, you know, is that really how EMP bombs react to shit? Why am I using anti-personnel rounds on a damn turret? What is wrong with me? Okay, there's one. I'm just gonna go ahead and take care of them until, like, just stay right here until the security thing is over. Oh my god. Guess I should be incapacitating them too, that would be wise. Come on, just seven more seconds. And safe. Where the hell am I? Oh, I'm right here, okay. How pleasant. Of course you're going to be right there where the freaking Big Daddy is. Come on. What is your deal? Yeah, I'm using anti-personnel on you because holy crap, man. You guys. Wow. So much defense. So much. Where am I going? Seriously, you take that many? Yeah, you know what? I'm I'm through being nice. I'm through conserving ammo. Besides, I can just pick these right back up anyway. We're using crossbow. Are you not dead yet? Thank you. 
Oh, yeah, I could have came all the way back here for a wire cluster. Hey, what a Screw you. Okay. Screw you. Thought a spider splasher threw something at me. And I thought I saw something flashing over here. That's just reflections in the water. It was just reflections in the water. All right. Onward we go. Did you really just impale yourself on the freaking thing? Whatever, I'm about to die here, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah, oh no, he didn't impale himself on the thing. That was just wind. Alright, so under underwater wind, yeah. We'll go with that. Okay. Let us try this again. This time, with less of what they call failure. But I'm ready now. I'm prepared. I'm gonna miss my shots wildly. Once you go down, so do your things. All right. Here's something ticking. Or am I just be being paranoid? Probably a little bit of both. Let's say anything else in here? No. All right. Well then, onward we go. Okay. I use the circuit breaker, so am I just waiting for something to occur? All right, it's done. In the end, all that matters to me, and all that matters to you, is you. Okay, and through here we go to Rapture Control. It's almost time, folks. It's almost time. Why'd you skip back to that? Oh, Dr. Su Chong! Way cho oh, why children take so long to grow? They eat and drink like pig and give nothing back. Must, I couldn't finish reading that. Plus, I don't think that's how Koreans talk. Yeah, uh, Su Chong, he's Korean. I believe. Me thinks. I assume. All right, Rapture Control, it is very dark. All right, go to Andrew Ryan's office. Yes. Dear God, it is freaking dark. Hey, thankfully there's only one way we can go. We have an auto diary to listen to first. So Chong! Initial deployment, Vita Chamber. Client Ryan Industries, a stage one need to complete. Sinclair and Alexander try to explain the science to me, but Su Chong does not believe. They keep saying plasmid reconstruction this and quantum entanglement and that, and then poof, dead people come back to life. Bullshit! Of course, Ryan will only allow 
allow it to be tuned to heat's genetic frequencies for the testing. Sinclair and Alexander, we will be seeing them if I ever LP Bioshock 2. Which I probably will because Bioshock 2 is a good game as well. It advances on the story of this game too, so yeah. Alright, no need to go to Gene Bank. Uh, nothing in the corpse. Pick up that napalm that I'm using very badly. It is a value. Yes, yes, I know. Alright, uh, why? The hell not. All right. So that's it for that. Onward we go. It is so freaking dark here. Just have to check to make sure I'm not like. Okay, seriously, one moment. Yeah, I had to stand up just to see, like, am I going the right way? Alright, fine. Whatever. Let's just go ahead. Let's just go ahead. Alright. Hmm. Okay, well then, I guess there's nowhere to go but just through here. Lighting the way up, I assume. Okay. Where's my wrench? My trusted wrench. All right, and hmm, would you kindly see? There's there's Andrew Ryan, Tenenbaum, Su Chong, Fontaine, Jasmine Jolene, that guy, mystery, baby status. Advanced deployment, lot one eleven, Doctor Su Chong, client Fontaine, futuristics. Baby is now a year old. Weighs 58 pounds. This is gross musculature of a fit 19 year old. The results are disappointing, but within expected tolerances. So a baby is a year old, 58 pounds. Didn't have the fit of a 19 year old. Huh. Very interesting. Indeed. Mind control test? She's very pretty. Thank you, Papa Sushan. Break her neck for me. What? Break that puppy's neck. Oh, please. Break that puppy's neck. Would you kindly? No. Well, if that's not disturbing, I don't know what is. Jasmine Jolene, Andrew Ryan's favorite gal. Interesting, interesting. So we got we got rope, you know. We got rope, you know, connecting Jasmine Jolene and Andrew Ryan down here to this guy. He also has connections to Tenenbaum, Su Chong, both of which have connections to Fontaine. Fontaine has connections to Jasmine Jolene. The plot is beginning to come together here. Mm-hmm. All right, we got some interesting things over here. Can't pick up these bullets. Can't pick up that frag grenade, though. First aid kit. She's about to get real, yo. She's about to get really real. Okay, maybe I can't go that way, but I can go this way. And this room is very important, by the way. I still can't see, by the way. I really need to sit higher up when I play this game. Oh my goodness. Am I going the right way? Yes, I am. All right. An assassin has overcome my final defense. And now he's come to murder me. In the end, what separates a man from a slave? Money? Power? No. A man chooses. A slave obeys. You think you have memories. A farm. A family. An airplane. A crash. 
And then this place. Was there really a family? Did that airplane crash? Or was it hijacked? Forced down. Forced down by something less than a man. Something bred to sleepwalk through life until they are activated by a simple phrase spoken by their kindly master. Was a man sent to kill? Or a slave? A man chooses. A slave obeys. Come on. Stop, Gardner. Would you kindly? Powerful phrase. Familiar phrase. Would you kindly? Would you kindly get this? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly find Would you kindly get this? Would you kindly head to Ryan's office and kill the son of a bitch? Sit. Would you kindly? Stand! Would you kindly? Run! Stop! Turn. A man chooses. A slave obeys. Kill! Juices! This scene just gives me chills all the time. I'm sorry. And that's the end of Andrew Ryan. Hurry now! Grab Ryan's genetic keys! Now would you kindly put it in that goddamn machine? Well, you did ask nicely, so I guess I might as well, but... What's this mind control? Would you kindly as... I don't... I don't understand. Okay, well actually I do, but you know, that, that that's gonna be a little later, once we encounter another little event, and... Yeah, I just stole $50 from the man I just murdered. Wow, I am such an asshole. Self-destruct override. I 
And so now we run. And crap. Oh, I screw up right here. Okay. We're good. And we've fallen. So yeah, that's kind of a lot of information to take in right there. Cause um yeah, even then I was just sitting back watching that like holy shit. I even caught like some new things that I didn't catch before. And it's 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 just mind blowing. Um but I guess now will be as good a time as ever to go ahead and just go over everything we've seen. So let, let's just see if there's another little cutscene coming up after this. I'll just let that play and then um, we'll just go over um, everything that transpired. Tenenbaum's safe house. So our new goal is to save ourselves from Fontaine and search Su Chong's apartment. And we will be doing so next time. He's the one who saved me. Yes, I sure did. And, yeah, you know, if you were killing little sisters and stuff, needless to say, there wouldn't be too many of them right here. Just saying. You know, and Tenenbaum wouldn't have been that nice to you. Like, she would have been, like, cursing you out and stuff, too. Yeah, we can't get a good look at her. Hmm. All right, and yeah, that doesn't open. I don't think we can ever get in there, really. But yep, uh, next time we're gonna go ahead and search Su Chong's flat, and uh, we're gonna get to the bottom of this. And we're we're gonna save ourselves from Frank Fontaine, who was Atlas all along. But yep, uh, with that. It's going to be it from me from Live Capitalist. I'll thank you all for watching and see you next time for some more Let's Play uh, Bioshock 1. Now, putting things over to uh, Post Commentary Capitalist to explain some of the hints you might have missed. Yeah, uh, actually, okay, uh, I, I couldn't end because uh, I actually couldn't save. So, yeah, we have to go with that little sister. So, follow her. She's, you know, showing us where to go. Playing hopscotch, all right. I'm just trying to talk very loudly so that the music will not, you know, be heard and all that jazz and blah, 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 blah. All right, yes. What are you doing? Hurry up. Okay, I'm following you. I can't fit through there, kid. All right, hurry up, blah, blah, blah. Just talking, 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 talking. Thank you. And, oh, you're, you're not closing that? All right. Back out here in Olympus Heights, the sewers. But we're, we're not back out here, but whatever. We're, we're in the lip of sewers. We're going to go through these sewers and all that junk next time. But all right. To the things you might have missed. Whew. Um, okay. So, uh, hi. This is unbelievably good audio quality capitalist here to tell you that, um, yeah, that little thing I said I was going to do showing off the little tips and hints you might have missed. Yeah, I'm actually going to go ahead and wait until the final part to do that. Uh, simply because there's still more game to go. And I am quite positive that some of the things I would talk about will be revealed in upcoming parts. And if not, well, then they won't. And then, of course, I'll be explaining them in the final part. So, yeah, sorry to disappoint you if 
you got your hopes up a little high, but like I said, the finale just seems like a better place to do something like this. So, all right. Thank you all for watching. Goodbye.